Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Nigel and I'm going to show you the basics of how to use the Landworks CAD software in your business so that you get an understanding of how you would be able to mimic what I do in order for you to start your very first project. It's a simple product in terms of how it's used but it's a very very powerful product so it's quite deceptive in its simplicity. First things to mention would be probably the simplicity of the interface. You don't see a mass of dialog boxes or data entry points or icons floating around all over your screen. The majority of the screen is taken up by the actual drawing space and icons used to actually do the drawing are held at the top of the screen. And these are generic drawing tools. So if I want to draw lines I click on the line tool. If I want to draw arcs I click on the arc tool and beneath that I'll see different ways of drawing arcs. If I click on the circle commands you can see that I've got different ways of drawing circles and so on. All of the tools are consistent. For instance if I click on the text tool then I've got different ways of inserting text into my drawing. The second bank or second group of icons help or assist me during the process of drawing and they work in much the same way. If I choose view commands then underneath I will see various view commands. If I choose the switch tool or display masks then you'll see the ability for me to switch on and display entities and colors and layers and line styles and so on. To the right is the most important part of the interface and that is called the prompt. It basically tells you what to do next and a wise person will always look here to see what the software is expecting of them. As time goes by you, you don't need to look because you become so used to it but as a beginner you'll just look here and it will tell you what, what it's looking to do. If you need digital accuracy then you'll be typing information into these fields. If you're familiar with CAD programs then you'll be able to utilize the standard X, Y and Z coordinate uh, structure but we also have by just pressing things like L on the keyboard the ability to change to length and bearing or if I press A on the keyboard then we're using distance and angle commands which are a little bit more friendly than the typical X, Y, Z process. Down the left hand side are tools that are absolutely specific to the task of landscape architecture and landscape design. Whereas all of the tools at the top are generic and could be used for any sort of drawing from playground equipment right the way through to rocket ships if you really had to. So let's get started. 